Hello everybody, welcome, this is N90. Today we're going to bring you how to use Arthur in Arena of Valor. Alright, so here we go, now we're going to get on to this next part, which is trying to build a pretty good, decent, you know, Arthur. First of all, you want to make sure you build him as a tank. He's always the best when it comes to, like, defense. So build on armor as well as magical items as much as possible, because... A lot of magic users are going to try to kill Arthur with their magic. Uh, just so you guys know, for Arthur's build, I use the Mantle of Raw, the Medallion of Troy, the Frost Cape, the Sonic Boots, the Shield of the Lost, and the Spear of the Long Giants. Now, as you can see, we're already kind of doing pretty bad right now. <laughs> just getting my butt kicked right now by, what was it, Grok and uh, Yorn. But luckily, I did have backup over here, and everything's looking to be pretty good. So normally you could do stuff like that at the very beginning of the match only because you really can't get killed unless you're a very squishy character. Like Arthur, he can't really be killed at the very beginning. I mean, I've never been killed within the like the first minute or so. So I don't know. Uh, like I said, build him up with as much armor as possible and ooh, perfect. This guy actually is doing something to help out. E, but not very good. Oh snap. Okay, so watch out for Grok. Grok is kind of like Franco if you played Mobile Legends Bang Bang. He's got a hook, a giant chain hook, so be careful with that. The best part about his hook, however, is that it doesn't lock onto anyone. When you use Grok's hook, it pretty much just goes at an angle, and that's pretty much it. So when you fight Grok, just try not to get in his view is all. Just try to stay as far away from his grasp as possible, because that thing can reach, like, super far. But once again, its downside is that it only goes in one angle. It won't curve or anything, and it won't lock on. So he has to kind of like aim at a specific area, but it's a very small area that it grabs onto. So just watch out for that. Uh, let's see if we can take out these guys over here. Uh, oh, he got caught. Oh, snap. Oh, oh, good. So it looks like I was able to catch Grok, took him out. However, it looks like you're... Oh, I killed both of them. Perfect. <laughs> I thought my little buddy here was going to die. So I took out both of them, so that's one of the best things about Arthur, is that he can actually withstand any kind of, you know, damage that's going to dealt to him. Which is why it's very important that you make sure that he has a high magic and armor defense, so he doesn't get hurt that bad. Normally Arthur shouldn't be pushing turrets, but right now the guy who I was fighting with kind of just took off, so I don't know, he probably could have taken that thing out. Oh, perfect. So he came over here. Oh man, I may not make it out of this one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this guy was actually doing me a solid and he helped me out. Perfect. So let's see if you can get yourself another double kill. If I'm not mistaken, I should at least be like one level higher than these guys now since I took out both of them. And this guy, man. Don't know if he knows how to use his character, but he keeps going over there like he wants to get killed. It's not a good idea to be like getting that close to the enemy's turret when Grok is in the center of it. So a word to the wise, make sure that you never get that close to a turret when Grok is there. And BAM! Grok is down again. <laughs> it cost me the life of my teammate, but that was his own fault for being so close. Like I said, you don't want to be doing that. And BAM! <laughs> there goes Yorn. Snap! Took out two of them all over again. It's perfect. I said, man, build him up to be a tank. I know some people try to make him as a warrior, not a warrior, as a fighter. But, I mean, a bit, it just depends on the situation at times. Like, right now, I'm actually pretty good, because I'm not too sure if Grok knows what he's doing or Yorn. They're kind of eh right now. Because, I mean, I shouldn't have been able to take out both of them, you know, four times already, right? <laughs> so, I don't know what's happening there. I mean, some of that is the assistance to this other guy is helping me out but he's only being used as bait I guess I prefer he wouldn't be doing that though cuz you know they end up getting their levels whenever he dies so you make sure you want to stalk as much as you can I usually try to focus on the ADCs or marksmen up oh, oh man see once again he was way too close to that When you guys are like playing as long range characters, I would highly suggest don't get too close to those turrets. If you know there's somebody in there like Grok. I mean you wanna keep as far away as possible from him. 
But in the meantime, I guess I'll just protect this turret. And it looks like my partner in crime has left me here to die myself. So, oh well. We'll see how that goes. Flank siege weapons. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, at this rate, just kind of stall for time. I'm just going to have to hope that somebody comes over to help me out. I mean, I can't take on these guys by myself completely. Jeez. Okay, so they're starting to get a little higher level there. So once again, build up as much tank defense as possible. So armor, health, and uh, magic defense. These are the things you want to have for Mr. Arthur. Oh, snap, you grabbed me. Oh, oh no, no, no. It was a bad idea to be there. <laughs> oh, come on, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Oh, yes, 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 there we go. I made it, I made it, I made it. Okay, so... One of the downsides about Grok is that he's actually able to like grab things when they're in the bushes like that. And that kind of messes things up pretty bad at times. And nobody's, I don't think, listening to what I'm saying. I'm asking for help. <laughs> nobody's helping me. <laughs> we lost a turret, but hopefully we can change things around. I don't know. I see somebody in the far distance in the top right-hand corner. Looks like they're making their way over. So like when you play this game, like Arena of Valor or Mobile Legends or... Let's see the other one. Here is Evolved. Make sure you always watch the map. It's very important that you watch that map as much as possible. And, oh man, they took down the turret. It's too late. But maybe, just maybe, I can kill both of them. I'm trying. I'm trying to take out Yorn first, because he's the one that's doing the mass damage. Oh, there we go. One down. One more to go. Take out Grok. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> at this point, I've taken out each of those two characters at least, what was it, three times now? Shoot. I don't know why they keep coming back. But they think they can do it, so, you know, who am I to just, like, let them not try, you know? So if you build Arthur correctly, he can be OP as heck. But you just have to know how to do that. Most of the times when I play as Arthur, I do tend to get MVPs, if I don't say so myself. But sometimes, other times I don't. But the majority of the time I do, only because I've been playing as Arthur for quite a while, and he's a really easy character to know how to use. I mean, if you don't know how to use Arthur, then I don't know, man. You guys just have to work better at it. But just keep in mind that this guide is mostly to help you guys to know what to do in basics in regards to Arthur. Every battle and match is going to depend solely on who you're battling against. Every character is different. So, Arthur, he is weak against Vilheim. I'll tell you that much for sure. So, if you ever see Vilheim, try to take him out as quickly as you can if you see him. If not, then just let somebody else take him out and just wait until Vilheim's down. Because Vilheim will... he will stun you like crazy and you wouldn't be able to move. So, I mean, technically, if he's by himself, you could probably kill him as Arthur. But if he's in a group and Vilheim's there and he's targeting just you... You're, you're down. <laughs> you're just not going to make it. I hate going up against uh, Belheim when I'm using Arthur all the time. Uh, but oh well. Anyways, let's see what's happening over here. So, looks like we're making a slight comeback, kind of. I mean, it looked like it was kind of iffy there for a while. But I should probably do a little bit of farming if I can. Let's take out this guy real quick. I know my people are asking for help, but you know, I, I, I <laughs> this little might boost. So these red guys over here, guys, make sure you try to kill them if you're a attack person because your might gets increased when you kill them off. So if you get a chance to do it, I would say do it. An enemy has been defeated. All right, let's see. It looks like Grok's trying to get away. Oh, never mind. I guess not today, right? <laughs> what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Uh, well. Uh, let's see. What's some stuff I could say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. So then, it looks like this turn's about to get taken down, so why not have it happen, right? I just remember that Arthur's really good at, like, team fights, and if he needs to run away, He's really good at running away. He's a fantastic character at that. And then I'm probably gonna die right now. 
But hey, I'm gonna try to stall as much time as I can. And oop, he got me. Snap. Okay, I stalled Grok for a very long time, and these guys couldn't take out the thing by themselves. Man, that sucks. Whatever. I mean, I did what I could. Like, I would say, like, for Arthur, his, uh, what's it called? He is really good, or fights very well against characters that tend to be a little squishy. Those would be, like, the magic ones, usually. Hmm. So, like, he, he tends to do well when he fights up against, like, warriors. So any characters that are warriors, some of those that I know of would be... What was it? Wonder Woman is one of them right now. And I think Zephyr's, maybe? I want to say Zephyr's. I'm not sure. But anyways, if he goes up against warriors, he's more likely to win. If he goes up against any kind of assassin, he's most likely to win that one, too. As well as mages, but of course be careful, if you don't have a magic defense, you're going to be taken out pretty fast. So, oh, and marksmen's and supports, of course. So any characters where it's a warrior, oh, I'm sorry, a warrior, marksman, mage, supports, it sounds like pretty much everything. <laughs> he's, that's why most people think he's kind of OP, because he can do all sorts of stuff. I, mean, I don't really have much hard times with the characters, but like I said, anybody who can stun you, you're pretty much done for. Especially if you go up against Vilheim and Wonder Woman, and who's the other one? Uh, I can't remember, there's another character who gets stunned like crazy. Oh, and Grok, like, let's say if Grok were to pull you in, and he stuns you like that, and Vilheim comes over and just beats you up with his little stunning blades, you know, you're just done for. You know, don't even bother. Just, just let it go. Because <laughs> you're not going to make it out of there. Unless you have Purify. But even if you do Purify yourself, they're still going to have a chance to get you. But you could try. You could try. However, for my guy, I use Heal. Only because there tends to never be any healers. And, you know, like I said, you got to build them on to be a tank. So he needs to be able to withstand as much damage as he possibly can. But so far, everything is looking okay. Kind of. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We still have our, what, one, two, three, four turns left, and they only have two left. Well, two and a half. So in this match in particular, since they have Trixie in here, it is very important that you take out Trixie first. She needs to go down because she is the mass damager, and she's also the one providing the most support to everyone. So she has to go down first. Don't ever worry too much about the tanks and everything else. Like, they'll have their time, but if you can... You know, if you see Trixie, take her out. She's got to go. Then once you take out whoever the support characters are, you work on to like the ADCs and the marksmen, and then you go down to the tanks. Because the tanks rely heavily upon everybody else that's around them, and not so much to themselves. But it's pretty easy to take out the supports and marks and everything else because they're very squishy, especially if you're using Arthur. So if you can, make sure Arthur leads the charge. You should never let your teammates take over. You know, you gotta be the one to get in there first. Like right now, that guy should not have gone in there, because he, I don't know why he decided to go in, but I got lured in, and I'm pretty much gonna die. Yeah, I can see it. Already happening, it's happening. Yep, I'm dead. I tried to do the solid thing, and try to like help him. But that just didn't happen this time. I tried though. I mean, I'm surprised it lasted for like, what, five seconds? <laughs> that I was even myself. They're all just like shooting me like crazy. But the best part is that a couple of them use their supercharges, so, you know, they kind of wasted that on me. Whoa! Well, that was a new one. I didn't know that Grok could use his hook to grab his own teammates like that. It's interesting. But, anyways, looks like we might kill them all. Good, good, good. So that chick's down, but Yorn is still there. Technically, they shouldn't be focusing on Grok. They should be trying to take out Yorn over there, who's doing the damage. And there we go, they're finally getting him. I'm gonna come over and help him out right now. So we got three of them down. I'm gonna try to take up the top lane real quick. Because I see the minions are like slowly making their way over here. So remember guys, to farm as much as you can. And while I still can. Let me see... Uh, <clears throat> what's the stuff that I do, what I does. Make sure that when you use, well, for my like particular build anyways, for Arthur, we all have our different ones that we use and whatnot. There isn't really a very specific 
like item set to use. But I know people always advertise like, oh, this one's the best bruiser. This one's the best blah 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 blah. I don't know. I, all I know is that so far when I use Arthur, there is a set of what I do. And oh snap, hang on. We're getting attacked right now. <laughs> We're attacking them actually. <laughs> Sweet. Let's see. We're gonna make it. Come on, a little more. Just gotta get some juice. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweet. And once again, get the might buff. So when you use Arthur, when I use Arthur, I use the Mantle of Raw, the Medallion of Troy, the Frost Cape, the Sonic Boots, the Shield of the Lost, and the Spear of Longinus. That is what I use. You can copy it if you want, I don't really care. It's just something that I've seen work a little bit better than most of the other stuff that you know people have used. I prioritize it in that way specifically because like I said I like to use my Arthur as a tank so I build him as a tank first and kind of work my way to the other stuff that I need and oh snap I guess I'm not taking out the dragon uh, I think there's a lot of stuff happening over here I'm trying to go for Trixie oh there we go got her got her got her got her oh, come on come on come on I can get her a little more a little more a little more come on come on I can do it 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 yeah there we go <laughs> so like I said once you take out Trixie everything else should fall apart but sadly, it looks like my teammates weren't around, and I don't know what this guy is doing, because he was back there doing who knows what. I mean, if he was there with the rest of us, I think we would have had a better chance, and wow, and he just died. So, guys, learn that lesson from him. <laughs> if you see, like, the bunch of, like, enemies right there, you know, don't bother fighting them. Just return back to home and group up. That was not a smart move on his part to just you know, wander in over there. I mean, you, I, I saw on the map, right? <laughs> Their little dots were still there. So, that's why I keep saying it's very important that you guys keep an eye on that map. I mean, if you watch the map, you should be able to have an advantage on what's going on. But, I mean, there's only two of them left right now, so let's see where they're actually going off to. Uh, so we're gonna work our way up to the top. And rally, 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 rally. Cool, we took out another one. There's only one more left now. I hope this is the end already. This is taking a really long time. This should not have gone on as long as it has. I mean, right now I'm already at level 15, so I have most of the stuff that I usually tend to use. And Yorn's about to die. This chick's about to die. I need to hit her one more time. Come on. Yep, I gotcha. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I just came back to life. Oh man, I hope she didn't <laughs> Just trying to just teleport back over there real quick. Come on. Perfect. Wow, just very very lucky that they didn't see me do that. You know, that chick could have killed me. All she had to do was like shoot me twice and I would be down. But luckily she didn't notice, so that's pretty sweet. So let's keep it going. Go Arthur, go Arthur, go Arthur, go. Go Arthur, go Arthur, go Arthur, go. And I'm gonna take out the Abyssal Dragon because my teammates are all dead. <laughs> so there's no point going over there. I mean, I could go over there, but I'm that would run the risk of me just dying or killing myself. You know, if your teammates are all gone, guys, I would recommend just, you know, abandoning the quest and go do something else while you wait for your teammates to come back. I mean if you see the enemies like coming over to you, then of course try to defend your turns. But right now we have a lot of minions that are like in the, at least the middle points of all the lanes. So if you see that, then it's safe for you to do some farming. I'm gonna try to take out Trixie again. Come on, take her out, take her out. Yeah, that one guy took her out, perfect. I think this is Grok. Is that Grok? I don't know who that was. No, was that weird? Yeah, marksman chick or whatever. Uh, let me see. I was gonna take out the thing over there, but oh well. I'm coming, I'm coming. I wanna take out the next dragon. Or not the dragon, this is the... I don't know if this is the beast or something, right? Some giant monster thing, I don't know. But let's take him out. Uh, there we go, perfect. Dark Slayer. Awesome. It's one of the best things about this game when compared to like other games like Mobile Legends, Bang Bang. This one has like two giant creatures you can kill for experience and gold. I mean, none of them will actually help you in the battles, but... It's pretty neat how they have those two things. Because they give you a lot of stuff if you can kill them. Oh, perfect. Took out Grok and a team. And Yorn is also taken out. And Diddy Tastic. And this guy over here. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him before. 
Perfect, he's dead too. Now let's finish this. It is time to end this finally. I will die at this turret if I have to. If it means I can destroy this thing. Because my gosh, like I said, it's taking way too long to finish this match. It should have ended a long time ago. Okay, I'm relying on my teammates to finish the job. Come on guys, you guys can do it. They're all dead. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, perfect. And just like that, we got ourselves a victory. That could have gone real bad too. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe and like button. Bye-byes.